welcome uh, to part two uh, of the video. Uh, this is where I'll be um, um, building up the blocks and the brickwork and, uh, and backfilling. So let me just show you how I've um, uh, prepared before I start laying the blocks. So first of all, obviously, I want this to be <laughs> a rectangle shape. I don't want it to be oblong. Um, or off square so the way I've gone about that is I've used the uh, the wall of the house as a reference and I've measured uh, 270 centimeters that and the same over there um, and then I'm going to be make, making sure that these corners are nice and square um, and once they are, and I'll be using uh, just a builder square here, not expensive to buy. And, um, and then running some builder's line across. And just to be extra sure, I've uh, just run some, um, some lime paint there just to give me a guideline when I start laying. I know professional brickies are probably having a chuckle now uh, but uh, I'm not a habitual bricky by any means so I'm just giving myself the best chance possible to uh, to get it right okay I've also um, made this uh, gauge so um, 10 mil for the cement hun um, 100 mil for each block and uh, and so on and then as for the bricks it's going to be faced by bricks I've done another gauge so um, same concept so it's 10 mil for, for the for the mortar and then the uh, the bricks are 65 mil so by placing them um, next to each other and as long as I make sure that the mortar is 10 mil then that's how it's going to run. Well, what I've learned today is, is that when you're laying down a bed of mortar, try and get that as, uh, as right as possible. Not too high, not too low. Uh, and then when you uh, lay the block on top, um, it's just delicate little uh, knocks with uh, with a hammer uh, just to uh, get it lined up right see you hopefully tomorrow So I've wrapped up for today. So uh, just give you an overhead shot instead. So as you can see, I've done the corners. Well, started doing the corners and uh, starting to take shape. So another day and off we go again. I'm going to pack up for today. So, uh, done a bit more. Once you can see progress, 
it's quite slow but slowly but surely getting there good morning it's uh, Monday morning lovely sunny morning um, apparently we've got uh, good dry weather now for uh, a week or two so I'm hoping to uh, to really crack on today I'm hoping to finish the block work today um, also the uh, the bricky is supposed to be coming around just to measure up and price up um, the job so hopefully he'll turn up we're all done for today and uh, so I've finished the block work finally so that's six courses and I've also concreted between uh, mine and the neighbours and there's a fall on that concrete so the rainwater can just run off I've started leveling uh, the soil and start mixing it with hardcore just get a nice solid base and I'll be hiring um, a whacker plate a compactor plate the uh, the bricky came around today so uh, I've got an, an, a list of materials to buy and hopefully he can start soon. He has asked that I put a course of blocks on edge like that uh, all the way down um, and he'll start doing the brickwork on top of that uh, and that's because the uh, this part over here that's going to be the, uh, the height um, and uh, brickwork shouldn't be underground so that makes sense good morning um, so uh, this morning I've been uh, calculating uh, where and how to uh, to do the two steps um, planning on doing this towards the end of the project but having spoken to the bricky uh, yesterday um, he wants me to do them first because he's planning on doing all the brickwork in one day with a team of four so um, let me just talk you through so the red markings there um, that's going to be the uh, the length of the um, of the step and the horizontal that's going to be the uh, the height which is half the height from ground level to the finish point above the soldier and then over here where the other step is going to be so the bottom red line that's going to be the uh, the level of the floor here and the second red line that is the halfway mark between the the floor if you like and um, the top of the patio with the soldier finish it's going to be a step of tw approximately 20 centimeters which is um, higher than what's recommended highest recommended is, is around 15 but it's just one step I can live with that and um, I've put up three pillars here which show where the um, the pillars are gonna go uh, at the end of the job and uh, of course they're gonna be linked with um, the balustrade so this part here is going to be open so um, if I just show you, so basically this will be open, we'll be walking here, walking onto a step and then down onto this level and then over here just walking down onto one step and then onto the garden. back on it today so there, there's the footings for the first step that I did yesterday and uh, today 
I'm going to do footings for the second step. So I've done some shuttering here. And also this piece as well. It's going to go up against here. And uh, I've put some, put some hardcore down here. Scalpings, sub basement, whatever you want to call it. And I've tamped it down with uh, the sledgehammer. So uh, I'm going to mix up some all in one now and uh, lay the foundation, uh, lay the footings. I'm done for today, footing is in. So I'm going to take the, uh, the cement mixer back now, which is on higher, and we'll be needing it for a while. Uh, the next job now is to uh, just to put in um, hardcore that um, I had left over from a job I did in March when I damp proofed my garage. And also a builder friend of mine has given me some, uh, some extra um, hardcore as well, some old roof tiles. So I'll be taking the cement mixer back and I'll be hiring a, uh, a whacker plate, a compactor, compactor plate, just to uh, get all this down uh, nice, nice and hard. Today I'm going to be moving um, um, just the, uh, the rubble from, uh, from my drive, a day I've been looking forward to for months and I'm going to be moving it over, over to here. So I've just set up a table there that I can lift it onto and then I'll just carry it over here. I rented out the, uh, the compactor plate and uh, I'll be compacting it uh, in layers. So let's get cracking. Today, I'll uh, do a, a half day Saturday tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna go definitely have a cold beer now. This building luck definitely drives me to drink. See you tomorrow. Okay, so back on it this morning. So, uh, I'm gonna do a few hours, I'm gonna start uh, offloading. The, uh, the scalpings, or type 1 or sub base. This is what it looks like. It's just a collection of just uh, gravel and some stone dust. Um, and it just compacts down very well. So there's that's a ton bag. And I'm planning on um, just finishing that there. And if things go well, I'll start filling in here as well. So I'm packing up for today. The drive is after many months finally clear. I've uh, used up all the, um, the scalpings, the sub base. So I've uh, got another ton arriving on uh, on Monday, and uh, having started laying the sub base, uh, I can see I'm going to need probably another two or three tons uh, on top of the ton arriving on Monday. Uh, remember the uh, the final height of the patio is going to be approximately an extra two courses of uh, of red bricks. So. Um, the, uh, it will eat up uh, another couple of tons, I reckon, easy. Let me just point out one other thing I haven't shown you. Before I started filling in, I uh, just put a sheet, um, TPC damp proof uh, membrane, just against the, uh, the wall, just to stop any moisture 
uh, getting there. I don't think any moisture is going to get in anyway because um, I'll be putting a flat bed of cement on here before putting the um, uh, the stone slabs on. But um, it, um, that is um, belts and braces, as the expression goes. Okay, so it's Saturday. I'm going to pack up. I'm going to enjoy a beer. Um, football is on today, so I'll leave you with three words. Come on, Luton. I finished for today, so I've just uh, laid some more scalping, some more sub base, and uh, I've uh, put this, uh, the slurry on and the other concrete blocks on. I found some uh, some damaged uh, curb at the builder's merchants, got it just for a quid or two, and it's the right height. So I've just cemented that in place and uh, that gives the right height ready for the um, the soldiers. So um, along with the uh, the stone slab, um, that um, that should be the right uh, the right height. So I'm uh, I'm on stop now. I can't do anything else um, until the uh, the bricklayer gets here. So I'll uh, talk to you again when the bricky gets here. Bye for now. Good morning. It's um, about half uh, seven. Saturday morning and uh, two brickies uh, are on their way they'll be here in about half an hour um, they're going to do the brickwork over two days uh, Saturday and Sunday so uh, the uh, the brick that I've chosen is an engineering brick um, there's good and bad about an engineering brick the uh, the good is uh, it's tough um, so um, there's going to be a lot of soldiers edging with this job. So I need the brick to, uh, to be tough and hard, uh, and which will last. Other bricks are quite soft. They can crumble, they can break, and they can look um, pretty rough after, uh, after a short time. Um, the bad is, is that engineering bricks are really dense and they absorb uh, next, to, uh, next to no moisture. So they're harder to lay with uh, with concrete um, and that's uh, yet another reason why I've chosen not to, to do the brickwork um, I'm going to leave it to the professionals um, on this uh, on this occasion a um, few things to point out I've got uh, these screw in wall ties they're going to be going in on the wall over there um, this is roughly the height of the finished uh, of the finished patio there. So it'll probably need to be um, a course of brick here just to achieve that that height. But hopefully, in the next two days, um, this patio will uh, actually start taking shape. for today starting to take shape and color so uh, tomorrow uh, Keelan and Ross the uh, the brickies they'll be uh, finishing all this off all right so it's half six and the boys uh, Keelan and Ross have finished up looking good so look at starting to take shape now so I need to backfill there next and backfill there and I thank you to the boys so it's the day after the uh, the brickies finished so let me just uh, show you what's coming next so all the leftover bricks I've just smashed them up and uh, it's going to be used as hardcore, and uh, 
And now I'm going to start laying the um, now the sub base, the hard core now. But just to show you what I've done, I've drawn two black lines. So the bottom black line, that's a guideline. So that's where the sub base needs to uh, to reach. And the top, well, in between the two bl uh, black lines, that's going to be uh, a forty bed, forty mil um, bed of cement. I won't be spotting the uh, the paving. I'll be doing a flat bed, and then the top black line. Um, that's 20 mil from the top line up to the bricks and that is the, uh, the thickness of the um, of the paving stones so like I say um, it's a guideline and uh, I'll take all the help I can get it's started raining um, the glorious uh, spell of two weeks is over uh, so the next couple of weeks I don't think I'm gonna are going to be as much fun. Um, I'm not going to film uh, today. The camera's going to get wet. So I'll just uh, I'll just crack on and I'll just show you where I am at the end of today. Finished the the ton of um, type one, and I would say I, I need about another ton, maybe just less. I finished just backfilling uh, the patio. So it took another ton of, uh, of scalpings and uh, then I had to go out and uh, just buy about half a dozen bags of uh, chippings and stone dust and I just finished, I finished it off with, uh, with that. So all the prep is done and the next stage now is to, uh, is to start laying the uh the stone pavings which i've uh, just all stacked up here so that's it for uh, for part two uh join me in part three where i'll be uh laying the um the uh, the pavings and uh also the balustrade bye for now